Let's talk about meme coin frenzy. Okay. And we've been talking about, you know, you know, I've talked a lot about Bob and, and Pepe, but I really want to talk about meme coin frenzy and kind of, and, and in, in that capacity, I do want to talk about SHIB. I want to talk about SHIB, Bob, Pepe, uh, Suka, it, you know, these meme coin, which I, I don't like the term meme coin, but it is part of our, our fabric. And I think that, that there's people that will always confuse a Shiba Inu as an example with a Pepe. And I think that they're very, they're very much different things. Shib, you know, I know we always get like, what's Shib's utility? I mean, where do I start? Right. It's, it's uh layer two blockchain metaverse coming game is out. The swaps already been there. NFTs yep. compared to Pepe been out five minutes. Exactly. You know, yeah. and, and they're different. And I think you treat them differently. And Oh, by the way, Shib's, Top fourteen market capitalization. So, what's your two cents? They're kind of kind of talking about this meme coin frenzy thing that we're seeing. Well, I, I think you know at one point Shib was Pepe. Agree. Oh, oh absolutely. Agree. At one point in time, right? Absolutely. And I'm glad you said that. That's a great point, right? But but in order in order for you to reach so far, history shows us so far in order to reach the Doge and the Shib area in terms of where they are multi-billion dollar market caps guys remember last peak shib went to nearly a 50 billion dollar market cap we're talking Nobody about pepe getting we're talking about yeah. pepe getting to uh halfway toward 1 billion right yeah. so it's very different and and doge is still a 12 billion dollar market cap and went you know well beyond a 50 billion dollar market cap in the previous run but how did they do it they went from meme to utility in my opinion in order for them to have staying power, they, well, how I like to say it is they reverse engineered the process. They built this super strong community and then they said, okay, what do we want to do with this? Right. And I think Doge is still kind of figuring that out. I think Shib's a little bit further down the road in terms of, you know, what their identity is and what they want to do. But in order for Pepe to be here two years from now, remember, right, Shib launched in August 2020. If Pepe's going to be here two years from now, I think they're going to do something similar. They're going to do it their own way, but mm -hmm. they do will have the community kind of push them toward utilities and they'll go from meme to utility. Yeah. Well, and, but see, and there's other, and there's other, I think there's other meme coins out there that are, to me, it's almost like you have the Doge and the Shibs of the world, the grandfathers of the space, if you will. And then you have the next generation that we're currently seeing with the Sukas, Sharbies, uh, Koyos, which all have, very um they, they have they have they have utility they have stated roadmaps they they you know they all have extremely vibrant uh ecosystems uh from a community standpoint i applaud all of them in that capacity and there's others like that floki you know yep. although well floki is more of the old school right sorry uh but then so you had those and then you had suka sharby and those guys and now you have this new wave you have this new wave where it's the pepes and the bobs no utility pure fun I mean, very, very tongue in cheek, very not take themselves seriously community growing up around them. That's rabid about owning the token, but no real again. So what's your kind of feeling? We're, we're literally seeing the evolution here. We're seeing this thing change yeah. by day. What's your, again, still talking about meme coin frenzy, you know? Yeah. You, you made me, you made some good points and, and you made me think about something, you know, when you look at baby doge and you look at Floki, what are they doing? They're following the blueprint. They're following the roadmap. They too now have their own swaps. They have, they're getting into NFTs. They're creating those. Because they followed the Shiba Inu roadmap. Right. But okay. what's interesting is something that Juan said in the comments there, Pepe in 15 days or whatever that is, it's not long. It's somewhere in that neighborhood. He's right. Uh, in a moment in time, they have flipped Baby Doge and Floki, two cryptos who saw the previous bull market. They just flipped in market cap with zero utility. You can look at that a couple of different ways. One, this might be a little risky. Will it last in order for that to go up that much? Or you can say, wow, they went all the way there without any utility. There might be something here. There might be some huge opportunity here, right? So you can look at it in kind of two different ways. And, but hold on, but wouldn't you say it's a, it's a, okay, but here's my, here's my, my rebuttal. I agree, but here's my rebuttal. You're, you're seeing Pepe and Bob in their, in their absolute euphoric moment of hype. Sure. Right. 
Whereas Floki, I mean, if you go back and look at like Floki or, 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 you know, Dogelon and you look at their all time high market caps, that's another one. Elon, they, yeah. they were like, they were massive, right? I'm not minimizing your statement, but I think it's also you're taking, you're looking at snapshots in time, but it does go back to that, that hype and, and, and the Floki and, and Dogelon shit, they've been around for years, you know? Well, good point. And, and I think too, when you, when you're looking at it, you're looking at it from a risk standpoint, it's less risky to put in money into SHIB or Doge because they've been here. And you can even say the same for Baby Doge and Floki, right? Because here's the other thing you could say. They've just went through a bear market, mm -hmm. a bad one in 2022. That was brutal, right? Pepe really hasn't done that yet. Like it hasn't faced adversity. Bob hasn't really faced adversity as much. We'll see, right? Uh, time will tell, but um it's going to be interesting to watch this thing play out, man. It, it's one thing. What One thing about the meme coin space is it keeps things interesting no matter what type of market we're in. Bull, bear. Meme coins well, are still here, and there's always something. They're always going to be here. Always something. You know, and, and final thought on this meme coin frenzy that I, want to, that I want to address is that you see the evolution. So if you look at, if you look at Bob and Pepe and all of the ones that are surrounding it, what are they doing? No utility, tongue in cheek, very fun, very uh, meme based, right? They're, they're embracing the meme. But again, I want to go back to something, Zach, you said no taxes, no, mm -hmm. or, well, I've seen a couple, some of them I've seen one or 2% sell, whatever it is, but yep. there's no taxes. And, and I think that is, that's another thing. We're going to continue to see the evolution. I think a month from now, there's going to be, well, not even a month, probably a week, <laughs> there's yep. going to be something else. Um, somebody, and you can, it's, it's, it's interesting to see, cause you and I look at it every day to mm -hmm. see the evolution and how it changes and how you kind of morph. And so, you know, watch it here. I bet you somebody does this. The next thing will be kangaroos. I don't know. I'm just making that up. Right. Yeah. But you know, now I guarantee you Austin kangaroo is going to come out, by the way, I didn't, that's not me. I didn't come out with it. I'm not, I'm never going to launch a crypto token project. But but you you get my point. It's that is that we're seeing the evolution, and I don't really know what the what what was the spark. Do you know what was the spark for Pepe? Why did somebody grab the little Pepe meme uh, frog thing and go? Was there it, nothing? I mean, not, not that I know of. I mean, but but that's what makes it so interesting. Like that yeah. that's what makes it so like how the heck did this happen? And then it just catches on. I mean, the same thing happened with Doge, same thing happened with Shib. Like why? You know, why, why the sh you know, the Doge coin killer, we 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 knew we heard that, but then I mean, it was uh it was fun, man. And and the same things happening here. Yeah. I I want to reiterate this real quick and I know we're wrapping this thing up. You can't have the same mindset investing in Bitcoin and investing in Pepe. They, amen. Right. Pre, amen. Preach, brother. Go. They are totally different. And, but but here's the thing. You can invest in both, but sure. you just have to have different plans. Sure. And this is something we stress all, all the time. Uh -oh. It should have its unique position in your portfolio. You should have a unique plan in place with that asset. You know, when I look at Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, for me personally, those are long, long term plays. Next yes. decade plays. Yes. Right? Yes. And a final thought to that. I don't, it's funny. You and I catch a lot of heat, right? And it's just part of sitting in the seat. It's funny. People come in the comments like, oh my God, you're talking about Pepe. Why are you talking about Bob? I'm like, because it's crypto. It's part of the space. It is a meme coin. We talk about meme coins on our channels all the time. Meme coins are massive, massive part of the community and the space. And so my, my rebuttal, not in a bad way, but right, my rebuttal is to your point is that it doesn't have to be an all or nothing scenario. You can have a good plan, own Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, et cetera. And if you want to go buy some Pepe, go buy some Bob, go buy some ship, just go into it eyes wide open and have a plan and know that, you, that if you put 500 into a thing like Pepe or Bob, you might lose it. Not saying anything bad about Pepe or Bob. I want to keep saying that. It's just part of the deal. You know, hundred percent, hundred percent part of the deal. And, and, and I'll say this too, like all of crypto, it, we're investing in a speculative market. It's all speculative, but that sure. speculation is on a is on a spectrum, if that makes sense, right? Yeah, like it's a little bit less speculative to invest in Ethereum, Bitcoin over anything else, right? Because all of the sort of things, right? It's been around longer. It's already been deemed a commodity amongst the SEC, and all countries are 
backing yeah. it, right? Yeah. A lot of things happen. Cardano is trying to become, you know, the cryptocurrency, the blockchain that revolutionizes uh, finance in Africa. That's a little right. bit different, right? And absolutely, like, <laughs> yeah. But just know what you're investing in. Know how long you want to hold. Have a plan. And take profits, baby. Take, take profits. Along the take way. profits.